What up, NFT fam? Let's see what the news is today. So tomorrow is going to be the other side um, land sale for Board Ape Yacht Club. And it looks as though OpenSea is going to be accepting ApeCoin. Uh, the price of Ape right now is like $22. So that's going to be interesting too because a lot of people are like worried about ApeCoin dumping. And if OpenSea is accepting Ape, then it should hold the price because people will have, whoever wants secondary sales will have to buy Ape. So very interesting. Um, this is my advertisement for today. I thought this was really cool. I don't know what store this is, but I want to go here and like get one of these t-shirts because this is so cool. It's the closest I can, you know, be to Ape merchandise. It's really cool. Um, Okay, some, so make sure you know which one is the correct other side meta. It's this one. I went to Board Ape Yacht Club and went to who they're following um, and other side meta. And I put notifications on because when you just type in other side meta, This one says it's official, but who is this person, right? Who are these people? So that's kind of scary. So make sure you're on the right one because there's a lot of scam websites. So that's the one that I'm looking at, other side meta. Um, and it says Dutch auctions are actually bullshit. So other deeds will be sold for a flat price of 305 ape coins. So let's see how much that's going to be. So 305 times roughly $22 an ape coin, that's $6,700 per land right now. Even if I would have KYC'd, which I didn't even know about, way too expensive for me. So it's over my head. <laughs> um, we've heard from the community that we should allot more time for users to set pre-approval for ape coin. So starting at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on 4.30, which is tomorrow, users will be able to do this. The actual sale will not begin until 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a full 12 hours later. So, and of course, there's no Dutch auctions. It's just a flat price. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. This is something about green is green. I meant to read it. It's an article. Um, it looks like... Dead fellas are getting uh, skateboards, kind of like the um, the board apes, which is kind of cool and interesting. So these are the two options it looks like you have to choose from. And this is another uh, reminder. The 24-hour competitive clown burn raffle is open. As the clown raffle opens, the notorious ninja raffle closes. Please see the scheduled events. The competitive clown raffle snapshot has been completed. So this was four hours ago. Raffle is open. Okay, the snapshot was completed. The raffle is open. Okay. Also, uh, Giraffe Vidi said, your flowers give me energy. Thank you. So on the schedule, April 29th snapshot has already happened for the competitive clown. So tomorrow is going to be any five matching frames for the outgoing octopus. Um, any matching, okay. Any matching five frames. Okay. I wish they had one of like any five frames because I had five. <laughs> I'm actually trying to sell this one. This is my, I'm the lowest price right now. Um, 0.17 because I bought this one for 0.155. So I've had it since January. So I really just want my liquidity back because I don't know how book games are going to be used um, anytime soon besides this. And the price in the last three days hasn't really moved. So I'm just going to try to take some liquidity back. That's the only one that I really can. The other ones are at like 0.4. So I have to wait on those. Um, this was an NFT from today. Keep your head up. This they're giving um, BFF is giving away a PFP. So I enter the raffle. I entered it. Looks very pretty. And you'll be in the BFF community. This is my new one today. Solidarity. Uh, I learned how to make like blurred backgrounds with colors. So I'm testing out that. This one is called famous. Like, you know, one flower and all the flowers like are interested in you. <laughs> 
This one is love is out of reach. Um, this is kind of how love fe life feels sometimes, you know, like you feel like all alone and like love is out of reach. <laughs> Um, nowhere is one word. So I changed it. Nowhere to run. When you have like really difficult emotions, you can't escape. There's nowhere to run. Nowhere in the earth, in the world, can you escape your negative emotions. So you kind of have to just sit with it. Um, and this is pinwheel. I just did bigger pedals and it kind of reminded me of a pinwheel. This is called the other woman, um, star crossed flovers. So instead of flowers with a W, I use uh, v because lovers is in there, you know, flowers that are lovers are flovers. <laughs> That's kind of one thing in my world. This is really cute for V friends. It's a cartoon about the <sighs> tired. It's about the, I don't even know what adjective goes with the sloth. I think, is it, is it self-aware? No, it's selfless, selfless sloth. He's like really slow. And so the best thing he can do is like help a grandma across the street because he can't do anything fast. So they finally find something he can do, which is help a grandma because she needs help and she's slow. <laughs> it's very cute. Okay. This is a cute little comic. Hey, Grateful Gar. This is Grateful Gar. What's your secret to happiness? It's no secret, Spiffy Salmon. The key to happiness is being grateful. If you fill your life with love and gratitude, it dilutes the bad things. If you, put a, if you put a spoonful of salt in a glass of water, you're going to taste the salt, but when you practice gratitude, it's like, it's like dumping a spoonful of salt into a lake of love. I get it. The more gratitude you have, the less salt you taste. So what are you grateful for, Gar? Oh, lots of things. Good health, friends, and family. Eep. But mostly that shrewd shark likes the taste of salmon. Very, very cute. <laughs> very cute. So um, this was interesting uh, talking about even though the raffles haven't closed, like these haven't sold, but then there was a correction. So these have been selling for 3.4 and 1.9. So it looks like the the new characters are selling for quite a bit, which is cool. This picture was interesting. NFT market 2022 colorized. This is ETH. There's only a little bit of ETH for all these projects because Bored Ape, Moon, um, Moonbirds, Punks, and and Bored Ape again are, uh, are mutants are taking everything and there's not much. <laughs> this is cool. Um, this is the... So the eligibility snapshot is at 555 daily. The raffle begins at 655 open for 24 hours. It's probably on their website. So check that. This is the kind of, you know, this is what's going to be happening. And I like the, the chance, the chance of whether you're going to get one today. It looks like Emerald is a high chance percentage chance, but this one versatile isn't, I don't know how they're determining this, but it's interesting. Um, okay. No idea how I feel about 305 ape ETH for other, but that is, that is a 2.4 ETH for a mint. That's kind of like the moon birds mint, right? It was like two point something. I think it was 2.5. So it seems like the, um, the NFT community is mostly fine with a 2.5 ETH for bigger projects. People pay. So it's kind of interesting to see that dynamic happen. Um, and it looks like that's it for now. So remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and good luck to everyone that's minting on the other side tomorrow. And I can't wait to see it. Bye guys.